Well, all right, my friends. I'm glad you came back. If you saw the tweet, you already know. We kind of already talked about it, but I, I made up the mind. We're we're going totem hunting today, and I threw it out in uh, Twitter that with the first video of the day. Here's how it's going to go. By the end of today's episodes, we're either going to have a totem or we're going to be dead and this world's gone. Uh, there's there's no stopping. We're, we're succeeding or we're going to die trying. And that uh, that's just, you know, kind of the way it's got to go. Um, so we're going to quickly supply up. And then we're going to kind of set this up on an adventure. And I'd, I'd mentioned this kind of as a throwaway comment. Uh, while we were out working in the fields or somewhere out there. And that was... We, uh... We could go to that, uh... That accidental gateway that's kind of out beyond the, uh... The Bastion Remnant. Um... that we made in in another. I mean, we were just there the other day. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, well, yeah, we can... Uh, can turn this into a bit of a expedition. Um, and I don't even know that as we go out... Well... Well, I'm torn. I kind of want to go on a boat trip as opposed to a flight. Uh, but that... Maybe needlessly... Prolonging, trying to find... Um... Find the tower... Um, don't we have one out that way? Maybe we'll go fly around and look. What I don't really want to do is do it right around here. Um, I don't know. I don't know why that would be, but that's, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Let's go somewhere to do this. Um, at least then we're kind of getting the double benefit of... Cruising around, seeing some new areas, along with um, setting this up. Let's grab a boat either way. I think let's save the wings for for the way back. Um, so we got shears. That'll make our pumpkins that we can put on top of our blocks of iron, which we've got to make some golems, scatter them around. Find a... You know, basically we're going to have to go try to find an outpost first and then work our way back out to a village to get this done. I don't know. We're overthinking it. Let's just go. We'll figure this out. Like I said, I, I've got this one ambition out of a world of potential in Minecraft. So we can, we can, you know, it may not be ideal, but we can we can make a raid happen. Oh, we just want to be advantageous to ourselves, and I don't know if, well, we'll see how long it takes us to set all this up, if we want to, you know, we know when we go through this portal, we're going to end up out in the middle of water, and uh, my goal or my idea is to actually head in this actual direction. Uh, spawn is going to be, well, I mean, here, the spawn 
portal is right here. So for the relative directions, you know that we're heading, this is east. Um, we're going to go. That was rude. Hiding behind an Enderman like that. Yeah, so this is our bastion that we were working at the top of. <coughs> uh, we're heading east towards the sunrise side in our overworld. And in a previous episode, we'd gone through here and I think explored more east and kind of done a big loop. Well, this time I think we want to go south and just explore. We haven't been out in that direction yet. So here's our big deal. Now we, we have guardians there. See, this was how we ended up going out to the What did I do? Oh no. Sorry guys. I got so focused on the uh on the gear for the raid, and I, I think by this point it's probably gone. Uh, we can try going back through the direct portal, but if anybody was watching the last episode, you know when we were trading for the emeralds with all the stupid villagers, I accidentally put my bed on the edge of their little area, and then when I broke it, it shot outside. I was like, oh, I gotta go get to bed. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure that's despawned a long time ago. Unless it just wasn't loaded. That's our one chance. We'll we'll pop back out over there and see. We may even if if that one did despawn, we may even have some spares in that in those chests. So I think that's our best plan. Needless to say, when I made the uh, decision that yeah, we're going after a totem today, I. Did not uh, hesitate to brew up a pot of coffee. I started the day backwardsly with some iced tea, and I, I kind of intentionally abandoned that. It's uh, it's sitting out still. Uh, I'll finish that up later in the day, I think, when it's uh, a little more iced tea time appropriate, I guess. Uh, but we need the we need the full test ready to go. Java. How many you get? Don't break my torches. Where did you come from? Let me know how he got in there. I haven't seen an orange bed right around here, have you, sir? Uh, I didn't think so. All right, any beds? Hey. Sweet dreams, everybody. You guys sleep well. All right, so that wasn't too, too big a detour. raise this roof at some point too. Well, I think on this side it there wouldn't be much of a roof left. Pretty low bridge. All right. So we'll try to make up for all this lost time. We'll do that. Let's do that. So that was where we started our great uh, bastion adventure. And it 
seemed like we went forever, but all it was was it was kind of vertically. Oh, don't go up on that that ledge. Uh, vertically, a couple climbs up and around, but uh, not too far. Why are there two of them now? That's weird. Anyway, do what they want. Every time I see that, I'm like, oh, I don't want to mine it because then I'm going to have to carry it around. I know we have shulker boxes and all that. I do have an under chest, right? It's... I may have had a spare bed in the goodie box, too. I don't know for certain. Uh, I thought we were a lot further away than that. Oh, man, now I have mining fatigue. How did I end up so close? Oh, is that just the entrance stuck out that way? Why is the mining fatigue, like, is that implying that we have to mine with, like, a spoon? What's going on there? Alright, here we are. Uh, should we go this way? Yeah, let's go this way. Why not? Puffer fish. Kind of hoping with some of these little temple buildings we may get some trident spawns, but guess not. Kind of a little bit dual purpose here during the night. <coughs> there we go. Give me a totem. Totem? Give me a trident. It might be hard to see down there. Yup. We'll give it a good run. But that, that was exactly... Oh, Ooh, there's a temple over there. Where are you? I don't want to lose that trident. <laughs> the track, oh, man. Trotting on the rain. I don't want to lose that temple. You are not dolphins. A lot of canyons in here. Spider inside. There you go. Spider. Oh, 
myself mining fatigue. Actually, let me hope for this. Uh... <laughs> okay, maybe a bit excessive. What was that, like five minute deal? Nobody to step on the pressure plate this time. That was awful. Oh man. Oh yeah, blocks. all pretty good with a deal now, but we'll do it all up anyway. Let's dump all this stuff, then we'll wait and see what we get. truth. Do we have a golden apple? Or an enchanted? Oh, uh, we got a lot of saddles. Impealing five may be really good if we do get that trident. Everything else is pretty meh. Uh, but, as long as we have this... good. Okay, then okay. now this we'll just put away because who knows what else we find out here, but Bad. So, I want to say Impaling is the good one for the Triton. I can't remember if we got that book already or not. We might have. Um, but hey, we, you know, top level book. And I, I think that's the one that does the damage, right? I don't remember what the little fly behind your Triton in the rain deal was. Um... Man, it's just the name of it's escaping me. I don't use that enchant at all, so it's kind of not surprising to me that I would have forgotten that, but uh Riptide. I think that's it, right? That's the other one. Um I only need to try that. Maybe that's the game trying to tell us something now. So again, we're we're kind of in pure exploration mode right now, um, and we may spend a couple episodes, hours, just cruising around, seeing what's out there. There's a uh, broken portal. Um, I'd 
like to do this far enough away from my base that we don't have to deal with it. Um, or uh, deal with it. That we're not like inadvertently wrecking our um, our nearby villages, right? Like, oh, oops, did I just let all the villagers get killed accidentally or something? Not that we'd want that to happen, but... Um, Those bad kind of things can happen. So this is too much not to try, right? Because, I mean, why not? Well, that's fun. Got a crimson forest. See any obvious fortresses around? Uh, let's do. Uh, I was not planning on this at all, but I'm just pulling up the notepad in the background. Um, this is desert random nether. Portal, and it is south of spawn because we kind of came back to the west. So I'm assuming it's pretty. I guess we'll know from the 315.107 and spawn. Sure, we noted that. Again, I, sorry, you guys don't have these. It's 241.23. So, that's a little off. Like, uh, 70 blocks on the X and uh, about 70 each. So, it's... Fair enough. All right, well, we're not, we're not here to explore random chunks of the nether. I just uh, rarely see those quite so well prepared. Oh, and those were nether coordinates. So that is... a deal. Alright, now we're still heading. <laughs> Not at all the way I thought we were. Um, I got really turned around. Probably underwater at night. Uh, so, yeah. At least we've got those coordinates. Um, now, we do want to go south. More or less. And we're just kind of cruising again, but I don't want to really head towards base. Now, ideally, what we'll be able to do is find a outpost, an outpost, and then kind of broaden a sweep or hopefully have just passed a village on our way there. Okay, well, now we got a village really close. Go back to the outpost, or go back to the village set up a few golems to help us out, and then 
uh, go get the bad omen and come back and cheer everything. So there's a village. So let's go wide around here. Just see if we can get lucky. I don't know. If you know, feel free to drop a comment. What's the... if any, minimum distance between a pillager outpost and a village. Like, can you have them right on top of each other where they're effectively just raiding all the time until the village gets wrecked? Um, I'm assuming the game would have to put them outside of raid proximity, but I don't know if there's any rule built into that. It's kind of pretty. It'd be a lot prettier if there were a bunch of pillagers in it. Mm, should we grab some coal? There's a lot of coal right here. We've been using a lot of it. We are out in the world. Is this a feature of Shattered Savannah? I don't even know. It's, it's been so long since we spent time in the overworld. It's like, oh, and then there's copper, and we're not even going caving. Wondering if anything will come out of those little uh, dark areas to get us. I'm trying to give you guys a few little cheap thrills. Look at all this. It's pretty dangerous. Really. To be a good. I mean, they're scary when you're first getting started, but talk about a starting spawn area. We need to have all this coal and. Okay, lighting glitch. I think that's kind of always been my deal with some of these things, is that for their appearances, they, they were kind of before some of the just awesome updates that uh, came out with the game. Um, and they didn't always feel like they were the best thought out. Um, I don't know that I need to dump a whole bunch of torches or anything. And we don't really need to get sidetracked with our coal. Um, this is cool, though. <laughs> An enderman hanging out up on top of there? There's a skeleton. Enderman. He's got a good spot. King of the mountain is what he is. Um, now, if I do ever find one of these, I'm going to so lost our little village again. I think I kind of know which way it is. See, I can play King of the Mountain, too. More village. Trees. A well. Oh. I remember 
to use this technology we've got. Since we're here already. Now, I don't know that this does anything for the haze, and that's kind of a problem, right? Like that, it'll zoom you in, but if we're looking out at those, so we got like one green cactus, one yellow, and then I think there's one more right out there, and maybe you get an extra couple blocks, like that stick was kind of, uh, it's out there. So you're not seeing more in the distance than you already would, but you get a little chance to detect. So, I don't know. It's, it was awesome when we were looking at our silo. So, I'm a fan of the spyglass. It is good. But man, oh man, do we need a raid. Ooh, I thought that was a village, but it was another temple. Oh, it's a temple and a village. A buried temple. Right, whatever monsters are in there are going to be raring to go. Hi, Golem. Yeah, this... Uh Seems very dark in this one. But at least we don't have mining fatigue. No creepers down there to blow up the whole arrangement. Is very nice. Don't, do not use the flint and steel to break TNT. Just take that for what it's worth. I give this feedback for free. In fact, let's get that out of the way. Diamonds. Ooh. Are any of those shimmery awesome apples? It's a shame. Stone, we can actually carry. How long has it been since we've had stone blopping around? Pressure plates, bones. Uh, what else do we already have in stacks here? TNT, sand, spider eye. Alright, now we need to do the ender chest again. Because apparently it's always going to be about the animals now. And. Goody box. Golden apples. Well, what does it make? That should not go in there. This, this. Chests we already have, that we need, uh, the book, uh, it doesn't matter, we can put the book 
in the next one. Alright, we're back down again. Delightful. I thought I was a little off on the pattern because I went down too far early. All right. Well, not uh, oh, that's the sealed in. So yeah. So not not the best temple ever, but uh, not impossible. And it's got these little villagers hanging out. Hey, villagers! Now this would be a pretty awesome. Raid, I mean, that's spectacular for raids. Nothing to it. Let's find a find a bunch of guys and do this thing. Come on, give me an outpost. Or some pillagers just randomly rolling around in these woods. Man. That would have been great. Just a wide open area. Tiny little village. Already had one golem looking for more friends. Now, is there anything we can do to increase the likelihood of random pillagers? I don't know of anything. But, you know, like thunderstorms and all that, if you hang out for a while, uh, the likelihood goes up, right? And we've certainly seen pillagers when we hang out, like when we were working on the, uh, the silos, we saw some pillagers down below. Uh, I don't see anything around here. Horses, have you seen some mean guys with crossbows? Oh, little, little baby, little baby horsey. I'm down a hole. Awesome. All right, you guys rock. Thanks for making my day better. I know. I was bummed that that didn't work out for our raid, but we got to see some cool little horses. Those might be some of the best looking horses on the game, too. That, like, creamy brown color, let's call it, with the white socks. Looks nice. Trap there. More trap. <laughs> It's getting worse. Outpost. Outpost. That was where we came from. This is the cool village. Uh, I really don't want to deal with forest, so I guess we cut back to here. We know that there's an ocean out there. I think that's what we saw down there. Might have just been a lake. Um, I want to say it was around 40 minutes ago when we started. I kind of lost track of time. Shocker. I know.
Just a little stalagmite on the ground. Uh, are these all islands? Is this though is this uh we're noting this guys um Thirty-three, fifteen, fifty-two. Save. I love that. That is uh, not huge, but an awesome. That's ocean. An awesome spot for a drowned farm. Just a tight little one. Uh, doesn't have to be massively huge or anything like that, but uh, how far out does this go? Oh, that's going to be great. Cut through this, this little section up above. Nothing else around to spawn. Excited. And yeah, we'll throw up a throw up a portal to make that a quick quick little trip. Lots of gravelly seafloor we could harvest if we need gravel. Yeah, look at all this. Great. A ship to come explore? We'll leave it for now because I'm definitely coming back here for drown. But that is not our mission. We've already already thrown down we're we're raiding so we're not getting distracted by our trident hunt now that will come soon enough and i think that's a, a kind of a perfect amount uh it means that it doesn't have to get too huge um You guys will see. I I don't worry too much about a labyrinth there. I just want to get them to spawn, and we can go take them out. But come on! Oh, should I? All right, now I was like, oh, should I just start taking down all these acacia trees too? Because we're gonna need that all that acacia wood for the farm buildings and our color scheme. So now if when we actually do find one of these guys, um, we don't immediately or haven't just seen the village, then we'll bust out the wings and kind of fly circular around it, 
going out just until we find something and we'll make it work. Again, this is probably going to be like, I gave you a barbarian outpost right near your base. Why are you doing this to me? Now you don't get any. <sighs> I just, you know, personally, I don't think that's a very good game attitude for a video game to have. Uh, I think the video game should love me for liking it so much I wanted to play it all the time. Now, what I didn't do when I was jotting down all the time was to note the, uh, jotting down those coordinates was to note the time of this episode, but I think we're approaching that hour mark. What do you think? Is that cacti, or is that, uh, well, there's a broken portal. There's some lava. Those are cacti. That is a village, though. That's what we're looking at. Just give me the barbarian tower and we'd be good again. Right? Those more trees without leaves yet. They were popping up just as I was lifting the spyglass. to us. Come on, Trun wielding <laughs> drowned. Reveal yourselves to us. Sort here in a moment. Oh, we got 10 minutes. Awesome. Perfect amount of time to find this thing. There, my nose itched. That's a lava.
Please. Let's cut the edge of this desert. I mean, savannas and horses. Oh, that's cool. So that's right but don't tell them that, because they look cool. Someday we'll have all the horses. Oh, I forgot on my list. It just occurred to me as I was talking about all the horses. Um... One thing we will still want to do is uh, do all the banner patterns, right? We hadn't gotten the charged creeper one in our last roll, but that was something we had a lot of fun with. So eventually, we'll want to do that now. Because one of those, I believe, requires a an enchanted golden apple. We will need to hold off until we get a few more of those, because we already used one, uh, remember, on our infamous entrance to the nether when we were up at the ceiling and fell into the lava. Um, and afterwards, like, eh, maybe we didn't need to, but... Uh, that was back when we had no awesome gear. Uh, didn't know, oh, look at that, new Mesa. Didn't know what we were falling into. And, uh, I, 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 as much as I look back and go, yeah, maybe we didn't need to, I don't regret it for a second. That's, that's the kind of stuff where when you're playing hardcore, if you have a means to make sure you don't die, take it. <laughs> right? It's way better to I'm gonna be like, oh man, I wish I still had that uh, enchanted golden apple, but still be in your world than looking at a title screen going, I wish I still had my world, but I had a lot of enchanted golden apples left. Um, we'll definitely cruise. Oh, look at how big they are. They start way over there. Definitely, definitely go all the way around there. Got some flowers. This is a good spot over here. Our bees would be happy. Oh, look, they're speaking of bees. Hey, B. You may not know this, but uh, in my part of the world, bees get fed. There you go. Have a happy life, bees. Now, Minecraft, I'm doing good. I am populating bees in this world. Look at that. Oh. I love it. I'd love it even more if there was a tower in it. Temple, though. Temple, village. More lava lakes. Big village. More lava.
All right. Well, we've been talking about Enchanted Golden Apples, so. Maybe. Just figures. Like, typically, I'm not real wild about the Barbarian Outpost, so. Because they don't have very good loot in them. And. They're not. Like a massive source of XP. Really, the the one redeeming quality is that you can you can farm raids from them. But I always see them when I'm out not looking for them. You know, it's like like anything, I guess. But man, that can be frustrating. So while we continue our never-ending pursuit of a pillager outpost and village combo, um, I, uh, I tell you, tell you a little bit about about last night. Um, I was watching, I totally got sucked in, um, there's a YouTuber called The Hockey Guy, and he is, uh, presumably just a, a hockey fan, I, you know, I don't know, he could be, could have a career more directly involved, or, or previously more directly involved, I have no idea, but he, uh, he makes YouTube videos throughout and around the hockey season. And, you know, we all know YouTube, you know, you can you can make some good cash doing that kind of stuff. Well, he's also, uh, you know, I, I think he said he was up around like 217 in subscribers, 217,000, which is good. You know, it's, it's about 200 and, well, no, I, I don't even know. It's a lot more than I have in double digits, barely. Um, so I think he's he's doing very well. But, you know, no matter what he's making off of it, he deserves more. This guy puts, you can tell, he's just, just a passionate guy that just likes the game and, and wants to... Uh, you know, figures he'd be watching all these things and talking about them anyway, so he might as well uh, share it with people. I mean, seriously, it, it's a month out from hockey season, which is probably a, a pretty peak time for viewing. Did I put torches up there? I didn't. Um, probably a pretty peak time for viewership right teams are getting excited and all that or fans are getting excited the teams are beginning their camps or whatever and i i started some of these uh, my goodness all right first of all this episode is probably just about over so let's go up to the top of this shallow hill and sleep because now i have no idea which direction we're facing or where we've been uh, but I don't want to start the next episode frantically sleeping. Um, so anyway, I will tell all about the hockey guy and uh, what I discovered and watched thanks to him uh, in the next episode. Uh, yeah, right on an hour. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much. I'm sorry we didn't find an outpost yet, but our hunt will continue. Like I said, uh, expect videos to pop up until we get this done and uh, get our totem. We are far from the point of, you know, eventually we strap on the wings, fly for home, and uh, and just go to that portal that we know is close by, get some bad omen, and, and go find an unfortunate village to uh, to help us get our totems. Be the bait. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll get it done. Hopefully we won't have to resort to that tactic. Uh, until then, enjoy a good break. I know I will. It's still a beautiful day out here. And uh, we'll come back refreshed and ready for the next attempt. Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Bye now.